Hello from JK Jain School. Today we are going to continue with the 8th chapter of 12th standard economics which deals with the international economics organization. Till now we have seen the meaning that international economics organization is nothing but for the fairness, for the extra consideration, for the fair and perfect desire to meet the international trade, there are few organizations, there are few institutions which controls the entire monetary policies, entire economics policies. Those organizations, those institutions comes under international economics organizations. Apart from that, we have seen the various organizations we have like WTO, World Trade Organization, like IMF, International Monetary Fund and apart from that we have many other things, many other institutions which helps, which brings the various aid to the international economics organization. In that we are seeing the International Monetary Fund. It means that if the country is having any kind of difficulties in managing the fund, it means any country is having any issue with the fund related aspect, the International Monetary Fund institution will come forward and help. So in this regard, I have seen we have seen various meanings, uh, importance, also the functions of IMF. In today's class, we will see the facilities, achievements, and India and IMF relation. This three topic we will cover today. Today, let's see the facilities offered by the IMF. See, as I told you in the earlier classes, IMF plays very, very important role. IMF is playing a vital role in creating the promotion of the international trade because the international trade has one major issue that, for example, two countries are there. Two countries are in dealing of any kind of trade and services means, what happened? There should be a perfect fairness in it. One country is cheating means in any kind of business opportunities means, but other country will not feel good. In that scenario, this IMF plays a vital role. No one can do any unwanted aspect, fraudulental aspect. Nothing can be done because IMF is there to observe, IMF is there to solve, IMF is there to control the entire economic things. That's the reason these are the various facilities offered by the IMF. Okay, you are giving the control, you are providing the perfect location, you are providing the perfect assistance. But what benefit are you giving? Being an institution, what kind of benefit you can give? Just the protection is not at all enough. What are the benefits? It gives these following six benefits. What are they? First, basic credit facility. One of the major problems in a business, one of the major problems in a trading, one of the major problems in a dealings. What happened? The problem of fund. Fund will be always less. When the fund is less, what we can do? We will go for a loan. The IMF. The IMF institution are the very important factor which gives you that facility. Credit facilities. What is your basic credit facilities? It can be overcome by, it can be assisted by, it can be developed by the IMF. Country like India is having a relation with Japan and having a business dealings. Now India is not able to have that much sufficient fund to have the necessary export import things. Now what will happen? They will end the relationship. No, but in the scenario, India can go and knock the door of IMF. IMF will be the financial assistance, the credit financial assistance. That please give me a few loans, amount of few loans, so that I can keep this partnership together. What will happen? The Indian and Japan partnership can grow further when there is a credit facility available to them. Because fund is always less. Money will always be less to do any kind of business aspect. That's the reason credit facility is very important. Who gives this? The basic credit facility will be given by the IMF. Next one, extended fund facilities. Extended fund facilities. See, for a business I need 10 lakh rupees. And for that I am doing a business. This 10 lakh rupees will never be enough. When you have a 10 lakh rupees and you think that from this deal you can continue the business, you are a foolish person. Then what happened? There should be an extended fund. So anything happens in the future, anything contingent happen in the future, you can come over that. The extra fund requirement we have no. The extended fund requirement, the extra fund that you needed to meet out the future desires, that is what is known as extended fund facilities. IMF is the one who provides you this facility. Number three, compensatory financing facility. Now, compensatory financing facility. This is one of the important factor. This compensatory, understand the meaning of compensatory. See, when we are doing a business, there is a lot of risk is there. Now, 
in the risk is there my product was supposed to go through the ship now ship got sink if the ship got sink means what my entire product went in the way it is going to the water i am in huge loss who will give me the compensate who will compensate me no one is responsible for this it's a natural of it's a natural act it's act of god but the imf is there to compensate you you have got any kind of natural club suddenly you are uh, manufacturing one product that you are having a delay a relation with the england you will deserve you will send this product to the england but suddenly flood happened in your area the entire machine entire product which you were producing got vanished in that scenario you need someone to compensate the imf is the body the imf is the institution who compensate you in this period that is what this imf also serve as a compensatory financing facility compensate the finance if you want means who will give it the imf will give it next one buffer stock facility you need an extra an excess fund you are in a depression period of the business here also the international monetary fund provides you the some stock it's not available in future it might not available in this scenario you will ask see imf this is the problem with me in future i cannot get this fund i cannot get this stock the extra access the excess stock will also made available to you by the imf next structural adjustment facilities the structural adjustment in your organization what kind of structure you are following what kind of administrative policy what kind of export import policy all this policy how you are framing it you need any kind of financial help you need any kind of monetary help you need any other kind of help in the structural adjustment here mi imf is ready to help you and at last supplementary financing facilities you need any financial supplementary uh, policy immediately you want some money immediately you need some actions to happen in your business imf is there to help you i am doing a business over a night tomorrow i need extra money something financial assistant i want so that i can meet the necessary requirement of a day who is going to help me out over here it's a imf is going to help out so these are the various financial non financial facilities offers help that imf provide what are they credit facility they give you fund requirement facility they fulfill compensatory finance facility they give you buffer stock increasing the stock they give structural adjustment also they do for you and at the last supplementary financing facility also give. anything very important immediate nature of work you have here also you can see that financial help is available to you so these are the various important factors facilities offers help given by the i over the period of time more than 100 years what achievement this imf has got let's see these are the three important achievement the imf has got what are they number one establishment of monetary reserve establishment of monetary reserve see this what is establishment of monetary reserve as i told you as you know everyone knows that money is everything whether it's a individual life whether it's a form whether it's a company whether it's a country whether in any kind of relation money or monetary plays a very important role when you want the assistant you want the uh, you know a kind of guarantee in anything that you do how you get the get that guarantee when you have something stored with you that is called reserve money reserve something that you have stored so that you can use it in a future desires in a future this imf has got the establishment of monetary reserve they have a lot of money as a reserve whenever whichever individual country state are asking the help this monetary reserve will be there to help it out in the over period of time the imf has could got this achievement that whoever at whatever time is asking any monetary help imf gives that help because they have established the monetary reserve the finance the money is there is in hand stock they have kept of money so that immediate nature they just saw the money related issues point number 2 what they have done monetary discipline and cooperation when the money comes what happened in a general way if i if i ask you if a person gets a money he will get a attitude he will get a ego right all these things is natural it's a nature for you for me it will come to us 
in the same way when the monetary policies is there when the two countries three countries four countries large number of countries are involved in a monetary aspect in a financial way what happened there is a huge chances of many mistakes many ego clashes many attitude issues are there monetary discipline and cooperation is brought by the iim over the period of time various countries various states various individual who have got involved in the iimf IMF has made sure that there is a financial, there is a money-related discipline. No one can say anything wrong. No one can go against the discipline, monetary discipline. That's it. This is the rule with regards to the money which they have to follow. Then the cooperation, the share, the relation of the money with these people, with these organizations, with these countries, they have made it very clear. So the money-related discipline, money-related cooperation. The IMF has made a sink, a huge sink, so that there should be a flow of perfection. Perfect desirability can be maintained. And the last special interest in the problem of UDC. IMF has done this. This the last one. Okay, they have made the establishment of reserve of money. They have done a discipline and cooperation in money. But the last one, the special interest in the problem of UDC, the all the countries under developed country UDC under developed countries, what about the problem they are facing? This IMF has made a special interest in that that we have to make sure these under developing country should overcome from these problems. They have put the interest in their work that. they should make sure they have made sure that there should be no problem to the ubc countries under developed countries they have made sure so these are the achievement over the period of time the imf has received they have maintained the monetary system they have maintained the discipline and cooperation also they have seen they have observed and they have solved the various economical political social problem of monetary in the under developing countries at the last we are going to see the relationship between imf and india how our country is having a relation with the imf over the period of time we have been a partner of the imf for many years from the 1970 you can take from there we have been the permanent executive director our one person our one representative is there in the imf who serve as a permanent executive director who sees that there is opportunities for india Where we should go for investment, everything it needs seen by the that person. Beneficiary for fund assistance, this IMF, this institution IMF has played a very crucial role. It has given us the lot of benefit in the fund assistance. Whenever we needed a fund, whenever there was a scarcity of fund, wherever there was a deficit in the fund, what happened? IMF was there to serve us, to help us, being as a friend. They have served, they have given the fund assistance. then sdr is sdr at 5821 5821 this sdr has been very well maintained by our country in the entire world we are at 13 rank in the sdr which rank we are at 13 rank that much the relation that was the strong bonding the india and imf has at the last in the entire holdings In the entire share holding, the entire hundred percent share holding of the IMF, if the hundred percent of IMF, how much? Two point four four percent is controlled by India. It's a, it's a huge thing. Over the period of time, we have been playing a vital role in providing the finance and having assistance of finance. Over the period of time, we have generated lot of benefit from the IMF. IMF also has generated benefit from us. So this is the simple benefit between the IMF and the dear students, dear viewers. If you have not subscribed our official channel, do subscribe JK Jain High School School YouTube channels, and you can see the various latest videos in the various subjects.